Welcome to Live Chord. In this video, we'll be showing you how to create and edit a song. We'll get started by clicking on File, then New Song. The Song Editor window appears. In this window, you can enter in all the information about your particular song. Uh, you can enter in a title for the song, a subtitle for the song. You can select the uh, original key, or if you're in transpose mode, the transpose key. Uh, we'll talk about that more later. Uh, you can select uh, the genre of the song. Then you can select the timing, and then the tempo, and then whether the metronome is visible or not. This box allows you to enter in copyright information. This little button here gives you the ability to just enter a copyright symbol. These tabs allow you to enter in the song text, uh, the attachments for the song, and the comments about the song. So we'll go back to the song tab where we can enter in our text. And we're going to start by adding a song title. Next, we will pick the key of the song. It's very important to get this right because it will be the bass key um, that you'll transpose from. And then we select a genre and the tempo and the timing. And then we will enter in our copyright information. Now we will begin to enter in the song text. We can start with this menu here to create uh, or insert the song outline. This just makes it a little bit faster if you're starting from scratch with a song. So we'll click insert in the new song outline and we'll see that it creates that for us. This is where you can start entering in the chords and the lyrics. Okay, and on this song, we're not going to have uh, an introduction, so we'll just go ahead and remove that section of the song. And on this song, uh, I've prepared some lyrics in another file, so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste in those now. As so we have verse one, and uh, we'll do a little cleanup there. And then we have verse two. And then next, we won't have a chorus, so we'll go ahead and remove that. And we'll remove the bridge section as well. Call that verse 3. And we will paste in those lyrics. Okay, so now that we have our lyrics in, the next thing that we'll do will be to add the chords. So we're just going to create a line right above this line of lyrics and we'll start putting in the chords in the spots that they need to be in so what you do is just space over uh, to the place where you want that chord to appear and type it in we'll just continue this for each line so you go to the end of the line hit enter creates a new line and then you start continue to type the chords in okay so while we're typing I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about this part of the program because it is the most tedious part of working with live chord because it's very important to make sure that you get the chords in correctly in the right positions and to also get the song laid out so that it appears correctly uh, and to your taste on the screen and we're going to talk about some of those features a little bit later 
Now, if you do get uh, a cord in the wrong place or happen to enter the, uh, an incorrect cord, you don't have to panic because it's, it's very easy to come back later and edit the song and fix a cord or, or push, push it to the right location. Okay, now for the sake of time, we're just going to skip ahead to the place where we have all of the chords already entered. Okay, and so next what we want to do is make it a little bit easier to read uh, when the song is on the screen. And to do this, Live Chord provides a format button. We click that and we can see that it lays the song out uh, with the lyrics and the chords indented and adds spacing. Uh, just so that it makes it much more readable when the song is being presented. And then finally, we will click the save and Live Chord will save the song and load it into the presentation area. Also, if you look in the control bar, you'll see some things show up. The metronome, if you had selected that, showing the timing, the copyright information, the song title uh, will be visible now. Now we notice that we have a problem. Verse 3 is being cut off so we're going to right click go back into edit and we can change this now. What we'll do is scroll down to just above verse 3. We want to make another page here so we'll remove those lines click insert new page and the symbol for a new page will be added. It's just uh, some hyphens. Uh, we can click apply and we'll notice behind that window on the presentation area the song is automatically updated so that we can see uh, what it's going to look like. Now what we want to do is uh, further customize how it looks so we can use these two buttons to either increase or decrease the font size uh, till we get it to our liking and we want to get those lyrics and chords as big as possible so that we can see them on the screen from a distance and that looks like it's going to be pretty good okay that concludes this video on creating a song Thank you for using LiveCord and check out some of our other how-to videos at thesamechord.com.